We're talking about New Year's resolutions versus intentions today. Hi, I'm Dr. Melissa West, and welcome to Living Your Yoga. Well, it's that time of year again, and on December the 31st at 12 a.m., people will make all sorts of promises to themselves about what they're going to give up or the kind of promises that they're going to make themselves about things that they're going to, um, habits that they're going to form in their life. And New Year's resolutions are really about this kind of outside in approach to changing what you don't like about yourselves. And as a yogi, I have to say they don't really take into account ahimsa or nonviolence. They can kind of be a little violent <laughs> in their approach. People go on diets and they're not very nice to themselves at this time of year. So as yogis, we know that we are already perfect, whole, and complete. And when we connect to our inner selves, we simply tune into the part of us that already knows what's best for us. As yogis, we create intentions from the inside out. And they are called sankalpas. They are the heartfelt desire for the deepest level of your soul. So on New Year's Eve, I want to offer you several different ways to discover your sankalpa. I still feel that episode 72 on sankalpa is the most important class and still my favorite class that I have ever taught. This is a free class and one that I recommend that you can practice on New Year's Eve or New Year's Day, and I'll link to it in the show notes. Secondly, if you're a member, you might want to become a member to access all this great material on sankalpa. We have a lot to choose from on the membership site. On, in, on Sankalpa or intention setting. And so a link to how to become a member in the show notes. So firstly, we have a lecture that I created on Sankalpa in 2012, and I'll link to that in the show notes. And secondly, we have a five part series on Sankalpa or intention setting that I created in January of 2013 last year. And this five part series includes Firstly, a 10-minute practice for setting your intention for your yoga practice. So you could use it at the front of any yoga practice. Secondly, it has... um, So that first one is a little seated meditation. And then the second thing is a 60-minute practice for setting your intention for your day. And you could use this at the beginning of any day. And, And I know a lot of people do this for a while and they find it makes a massive difference to their days. And again, it's a seated meditation with the mudra. It's quite beautiful. And then there's some things that will help you discover your strengths and values that's helpful for discovering um, longer term intention setting. And what else is there? There's a 26 minute or 28 minute yoga practice on setting longer term intentions by expressing your dharm. And this comes out of the Bhagavad Gita. It's based on the teachings of the Bhagavad Gita. And finally, there's a 16 minute lecture that I put together. I asked everybody, what are your questions on Sankalpa that haven't been answered yet in that lecture that I did the year before from the free yoga class that I gave in the year before that in 2011. And I put together this uh, lecture that was about 16 minutes to answer all those questions. So all of the links to those things are in the show notes. Leave your comments and questions below. Uh, Post your intentions for 2014 below. And I look forward to hearing what's in store for you this year. For more tips on how to take your yoga off of your mat and into your life, visit AskMelissaWest.com and have Melissa's videos delivered directly to your inbox. While you're there, ask Dr. Melissa West a question. She may answer your question on an upcoming episode of Living Your Yoga.